Hey guys, and welcome to part three of a humble narration of Katawa Shoujo. Uh, before we get into the story again, I want to go over a few things that I like about Katawa Shoujo, or j just some of my thoughts. Uh, first of all, I really like the music of the game for some reason. I can't capture it with the software I have right now. Um, hopefully I can figure that out later. I, I really like the music. This is the entire flowchart of the game. All the choices you make. Don't try to squint. I'll be sh going over the entire game in the series. So no worries there. But th I just want to show you how complex this game can be. This is Shuzune. One of the five routes that we can do. She is deaf and mute. I really like her. She's kind of bossy. But I like her. I like girls with glasses for some reason. I I'm attracted to them. This is Lily. She is very humble. She is very aristocratic. She is blind, by the way. I like her. She's second, my second favorite route. This is Hanako, Lily's best friend. She's adorable. A lot of people's favorite route. She has massive burn wounds on the side of her body. You can't really see that now, but that's okay. This is Emmy, giant ball of energy, health nut. I hate her so much. Ah, she's so energetic. Uh, she has no legs, by the way. This is her roommate, Rin. She's really misunderstood. She's an artist. I really like her, but she's kind of high all the time. She, she's, she's pretty silly. This is Kenji. I hate this bastard. He's pointless. She can go die. And there's Misha. She can also... Uh, I hate her. I hate Misha. She's just too obnoxious. All right. Uh, back to the game. So we just left the hospital. Back at Imaku Academy. The gate to the academy looked far too pompous for what it was. Uh, we're getting... We're, at the hospital, new new beginnings. In fact, gates in general seem to be seem to do that, but this one especially so. Red bricks, black red iron, and clay plaster assembled in a hole that didn't feel welcoming at all whatsoever. I wonder if it looked like what a gate for a school should look like, but couldn't really decide. Probably no. I feel like it should say not. Of course, I didn't want to get stuck about thinking about that gate for too long, so I entered through it with a brisk pace that felt surprisingly good. Positivity. I like this, this how. Keep staying positive. Don't worry about arithma. arithmia. Moving forward feels good. So I walk toward the main building of Himaku Academy with this brisk pace. I'm alone as my parents take my stuff to the dorm, and there's supposed to be someone waiting for me. Gar grounds are brushed with greenery. Doesn't feel like the kind of grounds school would have. More like a park. The clean walkway, going along the trees, the smell of fresh-cut grass, all park-like things. Words like clean and hygienic pop into mind. Uh, so, get out of the whole hospital train of thought. Okay, I shake them off, stay open-minded now. It's our new life we have taken as it comes. There we go. Kuna Matata. That's what I tell myself. A few big buildings loom behind the leafy canopies, too big and too many just for a school. That's probably hospital stuff. Everything seems off. It's different than what I thought I knew about schools. It's an uncanny valley. Even though I was told this is my new school, in the back of my head, it doesn't feel like one. I wonder if the feeling is real or caused by my expectations of a school for the disabled. Speaking of that, I don't see anyone else here. It's kind of eerie. It makes me wish there was somebody here so I could anchor myself to something tangible instead of having the feeling that I'm stepped into another dimension. Ah, I get that. Uh, the trees hum with wind and the green hues flashing all around me catch my attention. It makes me think back to hospital again. Oh no. How they say that the operating rooms are painted green because green is a common color. I don't know about that. I know blue is a common color for me because like the oceans and stuff, but green... Green is like rebirth kind of exciting. I don't see it being kind of calming whatsoever. So why am I feeling so anxious despite all the greenery? Dot, dot, dot. Dot. Oh. Only after I stand in front of the haughty main building, I surprise myself by realizing why the gate bothered me. It was the last chance I had to turn back. Oh, what a depressing thought. Even if I had no life to return to. Oh, man. But still, after entering, there was probably no way I could go back anymore. There we go. Wow, that's kind of depressing. Feeling nervous and the real realization set in my head, I open the door. A tall man with bad posture notices me as I enter. There are only people in the lobby, so it's only logical. You must be n nah, Nikki? 
Nakai. It's, it's Nakai. So you are. Excellent. I'm your homeroom teacher and science teacher. My name is Muto. So I'm Hisao Nakai. That guy's Muto. Muto. Uh -oh. I'll figure out how to say his name. And this guy's a ditz, by the way. Welcome. We exchange a handshake that is neither firm nor sloppy, and he looks at his watch. The head nurse asks you for a brief check-in visit, but there's no time for that now. Oh, should I uh, go go later? Yes, afternoon is probably fine. We should get going and introduce you to the rest of the class. They're waiting already. Waiting for me? I don't really like being the center of attention, but I guess it's inevitable in a situation like this. Yeah, I, I've been to, I've switched schools many times. I, I, I get why he's nervous. Somehow, not knowing what's waiting for me makes me feel really nervous. Yeah, I get that. Thinking of this, I almost miss what the teacher is saying. Do you want to introduce yourself to the class? All right, first decision of the game. It kind of impacts it. I haven't decided which route I want to go for yet. I'll figure that out in between this video and the next video. And uh, I'll, I'll do lots of thinking about that. I, I, I think I know who I'm going to go for first, but... I'll, I'll show you guys next time. I won't say who it is until I get to that route. But thank you for watching this episode of Humble Narration of Katawa Shoujo. Stay tuned to figure out which girl I'm going to bang. Yeah, uh, not bang. Date. Cripple Girls. Yeah.